So uh, here is a little bit more on uh, textures. So we have our uh, can here with our flames. And let's say we want to add uh, the stars to it. So we will make sure the can is selected and drag the stars right onto the can. Okay, so there it is. Get our selection tool and we can move this guy around position it nicely. Uh, we can move it below the um, graphics that we have on there. We can uh, also change the scale of this. If we use um, the square similar to how you change the scale of an object. Uh, let's get this the same here and let's make it 10 and 10. 10. Oops, we've got to change that, take that link off, and then we can make it the same. All right, we also have the option of, as you can see, the placement is a decal. We can make this a fill so that it automatically fills the entire um, object. So I can rotate all the way around, and I could still have my graphics, my labels on top of that select that label and we can move that like so. So there's a number of things that you could do with um, the um, textures and the graphics. I mean you could make this one also a fill but it won't look as nice because it wasn't you know really designed for that. So you'd set that back to decal and of course if I didn't want the stars and stripes, or just the stars, uh, I could uh, set that back to decal. And if I want to move, or if I want to remove one of these, all I have to do is select it and hit the trash can. Just like that. So the graphics uh, fairly easy to work with. Rotate it around. Bring this above just like that. 